ES College of Nursing, Virupuram. Strive, serve, shine. Hi everyone, myself Mrs. De Mrs. Devi. I am working as a nursing tutor in ES College of Nursing. Today I am going to present a bone marrow transplantation. Uh, we move on the topic. Okay, uh, first what is bone marrow transplantation? Uh, a bone marrow transplantation is a medical procedure that replace a healthy stem cells. So replacement of cells can either from our own body or uh, from your donor. That is called, what is it? Bone marrow transplantation. So bone marrow transplantation is otherwise known as stem cell transplantation. It is more specifically called as hematopoietic stem cells. So that is the bone marrow transplantations. So what is a bone marrow transplantation? It is a medical procedure that replace your healthy stem cells is called the bone marrow transplantations. So next we move on uh, sources of bone marrow transplantation. First we know about the stem cells. So what is stem cells? So stem cells is the immature cells. So stem cells is the immature cells that replace the blood bone marrow. So and is giving rise the blood. Okay, well, that is the stem cells. So next sources of stem cells. So mainly three sources of stem cells are present. What are is? Uh, first one is peripheral, second one is marrow and other is umbilical cord. This is the mainly sources of stem cells. So next we move on. Uh, indications for bone marrow transplantations. So first uh, bone marrow transplantation is used to done the number of cancerous and non-cancerous conditions such as first we see about the cancerous for cancerous conditions. So what is the what are all that uh, first cancerous conditions such as uh, leukemia, lymphoma and multiple myeloma these are all the conditions for indications of bone marrow transplantations. Next we move on uh, non-cancerous conditions such as what are all the non-cancerous condition of indication of bone marrow transplantation is uh, aplastic anemia and immunodeficiency disorder. These are all the indications for bone marrow transplantations. So next pre-bone marrow transplantations. So what are all the procedure used in pre-bone marrow transplantation procedure is under that five process are uh, pre-bone marrow transplantations. What are the pre-bone marrow transplantation procedure is? First one is conditioning phase. Second one is stem cell processing and infusions. And that third one is uh, what are the neutrophenic phase and encraftment phase at last post encraftment phase. These are all under the pre-bone marrow transplantation procedure. So next Types of bone marrow uh, stem cells. There are two types of bone marrow stem cells are present. What are is? Uh, first one is autologous uh, types of bone marrow stem cells. And next one is allogenic type, uh, types of bone marrow stem cells. First we see about the autologous uh, types of bone marrow stem cells. First uh, autologous means a procedure in which the patients receive their stem cells First, you collect the receive cells before treat and store after the uh, treatment. That is called autologous uh, bone marrow transplantation stem cells. So, that autologous transfer, uh, bone marrow transplant uh, include five processes. First one is uh, collection, processing and cryopreservation. Next, chemotherapy and reinfusion. So, First, you have to collect the stem cells from the uh, patient's bone marrow stem cells or blood. And then uh, you have to processing in the laboratory so that stem cells are preserved. So that process is in the laboratory. Next, you have the processing stem cells. Uh, you have to freeze and eat it. So that is the cryopreservation. After that, you have to process you have to give a high dose of uh, chemotherapy or 
radiation therapy so uh, because of you have to destroy the cancerous cells so you have to give the chemotherapy after that you have to cancerous uh, kill the cancerous cells you have to there reinfusion the healthy stem cells so that is the autologous transplant process this is the autologous transplant process next we move on allogenic transplant process this is also have to five process so first what you allogenic transplant process means you have to use this yeah, healthy stem cells to replace the abnormal healthy abnormal uh, cancerous cells so that is the allogenic uh, transplant process so allogenic transplant process you have to control uh, under the five process this is also donor uh, collection processing cryopreservation chemotherapy and infusion so first you have to collect from the donor so donor so stem cells are collected from the patients blood marrow or blood after that you have to collect the blood marrow you have to processing in the laboratory after you have to freeze it and then you have to give the high doses of chemotherapy and uh, radiation therapy because you have to kill the cancerous cells uh, uh, at last you have to infusion the infused into patients this is the allogenic transplant process so uh, there are two types of uh, bone marrow transplant process one is uh, autologous and another one is allogenic so next we move on adverse effects what are all the adverse effects will come means ulcer disinfection of gi system rashes hair losses and pneumonia and jaundice why uh, ulcer will come means you have to take the high uh, doses of chemotherapy so ulcer will come next hair loss rashes why hair loss and rashes will come means have to give a radiotherapy so rashes and hair loss will occur next jaundice so jaundice why it will come means uh, bilirubin level will elevated so uh, jaundice will occur these are all the adverse effects of uh, adverse effects of bone marrow transplantations so next post bone marrow transplantation care you have to waiting 2 to 4 weeks for uh, before its success can begin to judge you have to wait 2 to 4 weeks after the bone marrow recipient is kept isolation because uh, it uh, reduce the potential minimal infections so after that the recipient also receives the iv antibiotics iv fungal drugs iv uh, medications and iv anti fungal medications antiviral as well as blood or uh, platelet transfusion will cut because to minimize the infections and also prevent the bleeding. So next what we do means uh, you have to perform your blood test and also have to daily monitor the kidney and liver, uh, liver functions as well as nutritional status. So further at last you have to monitor the side effect. Uh, because the bone marrow transplantations given means uh, automatically the patient will uh, nausea and vomiting will occur so you have to daily you have to monitor the side effect and give the medications with prescribed medications so i hope you all understand my topic thank you